Buongiorno a tutti, hi, welcome Hello. again to, to State of the Net 2018, thank you all, um, we, we have to say hi to the people uh, watching live and also to the people who will watch uh, the video in the next future. Um, thank you for, for being here. Uh, State of the Net uh, was born actually 10 years ago, so it's, it's a long run, and, and, and we're happy to, to, to be here again. We have to tell so many thank you to, to people, to companies, to our partners that, that are essential to, to bring together all the conference and, and bring the most brilliant people we can find uh, around the world. And, to bring it here on this pier uh, next to the sea to talk about uh, the state of the art of, of the internet and so uh, the society. Every year um, the, 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 the challenge is great, but thanks to our uh, partners, this is doable. And so uh, thank you to our uh, co-organizer, the, the local government, the re region, Regione Autonoma Friuli Venezia Giulia, thanks to, to NCL, uh, the in-house uh, software company of the, of the region, which we um, had a beautiful afternoon yesterday uh, to talk about digital platforms and, and uh, public administration in Italy. Um, thank you to uh, IBM, the, the main partner of this edition of uh, State of the Net, and we hope uh, for the next years too, and thanks to Autovie Venete and all other partners that uh, are supporting us. Uh, thank you very much. Um, every year, trying to, to bring together all, all these people is not so easy, but, but it's something we, we do with great satisfaction because it, 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 it locks you in, in a room where you have to think about uh, how the world is changing. And uh, every year we, we pick a, a keyword to talk about the state of the net. And this year the keyword is consequences. Why consequences, Paolo? Well, when we started thinking about this year's event, it was uh, the middle of the Cambridge Analytica scandal. And you know, we started thinking, what happened? I mean, quite clearly, the way it was reported was much more was superficial, not very clear. Uh, you had the feeling that it was strange how a bunch of nerds in Silicon Valley created a tool to personalize advertising, which is a good thing. And then suddenly, some foreign government was using this tool to sway elections or referendums. And, uh, you know, what are the consequences? Quite clearly, they had not considered this. And then you think that you're reading this news on a newspaper, and uh, probably that very web page you're reading the news on is being tracked with 50 or 60 or 80 different trackers. And where, where all that data goes to, I mean, we don't know what are the consequences of the way we interact and what are the consequences uh, on the whole media landscape of... Uh, how our information diet is changing. And, uh, and then we saw Zuckerberg testifying in front of uh, parliaments in Europe and in the US, and uh, you know, we run an ad center. It was like, quite clearly, he was not thinking would have ended up there. And uh, as yesterday, um, Professor Zingales said, uh, maybe we should find a way to regulate them and what would be the consequences. And uh, did you see the politicians that were asking the questions? Do we really want them to be regulating things? Do they understand the consequences of this? Or they will end up uh, doing stuff like, you know, banning Uber for a whole country. Is that smart? What are the consequences? Or they will introduce regulation like GDPR and protect our privacy. That are positive consequences there. Or they will completely violate our privacy, like in China, but generate huge, huge amount of data that will actually 
probably push forward innovation. What are the consequences there? Ultimately, we are thinking, and we try to put together a program today uh, with some incredible speakers, trying to understand how much agency we have as people and as communities. What can we do? After all, you know, like it or not, there is two billions of us on Facebook. Can we do anything with that? I mean, what kind of impact is this going to have? What are the consequences of what we're doing? What are going to be the consequences on, uh, uh, on cities? We're going to discuss that. I think that uh, probably at the end, what we need to do is learn how to live with consequences and to how to live with a certain degree of uncertainty. Um, the complexity of today's world is such that uh, understanding the consequences of what we do is not really possible, so maybe we should just change the way we live things and we understand things. And I think we're going to have some pretty interesting conversations today. And I just want to say, let's make these conversations. Not only people sitting in the front tables, uh, by the way, you, anybody can sit here. And uh, if you move from the back of the room to the front, we won't have to Photoshop you in the front. That's going to save us some time. <laughs> um, so let's keep this conversation open. It's about uh, going home with a couple of more ideas and maybe a few more doubts, which are very good seed for new ideas. OK, just before we begin, let me greet and thank our steering committee and outstanding group of people which help us to, to think State of the Net and to organize our events. Uh, Ivan Sempo, Luca De Biase, Gigi Tagliapietra, Adriana Lucas, Marco Massarotto, Adriana Napolitano, Daniele Chieffi, Maffe De Baggis, Massimo Russo, Dave Snowden, Simone Puxic, Barbara Sgarzi, and Tom Ziltra. Some of them you, you'll meet in, during today on this stage. Some of them are uh, with us in the floor. Um, some of them are following us through our streaming. We are streaming live, uh, as Benemio said, through our Facebook page all the day long. Uh, if anybody from home, from offices, want to connect with our conversation, uh, you can use uh, our hashtag, SOTN18, S-O-T-N-18. Please do not, do not use uh, SOTN2018, unless, unless you want to uh, comment the Uganda's state of a nation. <laughs> and uh, don't forget that every single speech and uh, panel that happened on this uh, stage is available uh, on our YouTube channel since the very beginning, and also this year edition will be available shortly. We have already something about 700,000 minutes seen on our channel and almost uh, 100,000 uh, viewers. So pretty much uh, the entire city of Udine uh, looking out to, to our videos for uh, and I guess that the very interesting thing is that half of uh, that uh, huge amount of minutes is people watching Dave Snowden videos. So he is our... Oh, thank you, Dave. <laughs> he is our YouTube star. Okay. So we can begin, I think. 